Level 7, Grade C, GCSE, Calculating Using Proportional Change. Now I've covered most of the ideas behind this topic in 7.1, so I'm going to basically just go through some examples and then give you some questions to practice on. So, increasing by £40 by 88%, so we're going to start with £100, uh, 100%, sorry, and then we're going to add 8% to make 108%. And to work out 108% or something, we are going to you need to times by 1.08. To decrease 40 pounds by 7%, to decrease an amount, you start with 100%, you take away 77% and you're left with 93%. And to work out 93%, we actually times by 0 0.93. So the percentage means out of 100, so 93 divided by 100 is 0 0.93, so that's what we times by. Okay, I'm just going to give you a few seconds to pause the video and have a go, at, and then have a go at practicing these four questions. Okay, increasing 150, 115 pounds by 17 percent. So if I'm increasing, I'm adding 17 percent to 100 to make 117, and then I'm times in by 1.17. There's the 17 percent. There's the 100% times by 1.17. Time for a calculator. 115 times 1.17. And we get £134.55. OK, to decrease by 12.5%. So 100 take away 12.5% is 87.5. If you're not sure you could use a calculator because this is a calculator based question. And 87.5 is the percent is the same as times by 0 0.875. 87.5, 0 0.875 is what we times by. So 940 times by 0.875 equals £822.50. OK, let's have a look at a couple without pound signs in front of them. This one's in kilograms. Increased by 2.5%, so I'm doing 77 times by 102.5, or 1 1.025 is the thing we multiply by. 77 times by 1.025. And that equals 78.925 kilograms. And the last one, to decrease by 82%, is just the same as to find out 100 minus 82, which is 18%, and therefore we need to times by 0 0.18, so 10,000 times by 0 0.18 is going to be 1,800 kilometres. And there we go. That's how you calculate using proportional change with respect to percentages.